Welcome, here we are, April 25th, and we're going to do a special two-part, two-drink episode of Sips with Stuart. Drink number one, let's just get straight to the point here, because that's what you're here for. You're not here for crap, you're here for drinking. Uh, right, it's a miniature little um, uh, tequila, Mezcal, um, 40, 40% of standard issue. It is from Mexico. As you'd expect um, and hard to see but it does have a worm ah there we go now this this created the debate in the the apartment here between me and myself because that's where uh, we're at now in, the, in time um do you drink the worm or not this is this is something i've never quite known um I assume you do, if you can get it open. I'm not cutting, I'm just, you're just gonna have to sit and watch as I do this. I don't care. Don't care. Um, battery's almost dead. Not prepared for this whatsoever. <laughs> Take an appropriately sized knife to help. That will have freaked some people out, maybe. Right. Oh, it all came out. Okay, so here we go. There's 20 seconds of your life you're not getting back. So, go to pour. How easy will it be for the worm to emerge? Okay, there we go. So, yeah, big debate. Do you drink it or not? I assume you do. And tonight we shall be doing it. I've kind of always wanted to drink the worm in tequila. You know, I've seen it in stuff and being like, oh, that looks kind of gross and kind of funny. The next question then is to chew or not to chew? And I'm going to chew. So first of all, it actually smells, so it smells of tequila, obviously, but it's also got like a really nice smokiness to it. I don't expect this to be a nasty drink. Um, this was provided by a viewer, um, as some of you are doing now, which I wholeheartedly endorse. Um, if you want to send me alcohol, you can just let me know and I'll send you my address. Um, if you have recommendations like the Stro 80, that was a recommendation. I paid for that myself. That's also another way for it to go. Um, someone was also a new person to the channel was um, recommending a nice cocktail. I just don't think anyone else wants to watch that. Me just leisurely sipping and enjoying a cocktail like I, I i love where your head's at and it sounds beautiful and i will make it but i'll do it off camera because no one cares mm. Mm. <laughs> that was one of the most repulsive textures i've ever had in my mouth I couldn't even swallow it. It, was just, it hit my tongue and it was so wet and soggy. The drink's really nice. Um, but the worm, <laughs> that was not pleasant. Okay, well, you know, that's that ticked. Um, if you're going to drink the worm with tequila, my recommendation going forward, bang it in, straight in. Don't try and chew it. Just get it down your gullet. Um, in the comments, let me know why you put worms in tequilas. I do feel like I knew at some point, but I've forgotten. So let me get this down my throat. Oh, mm. That was really nice. Really smoky, like a... Almost like a peated scotch, you know, that kind of... Really nice. Um, double thumbs up for that stuff. Might actually see it by getting a bottle of that, because that was really nice. Right, let's move on. So... Um, the next drink is from one of our um, much maligned viewers, Ryan, who we know has has led us to some good places, some bad places. I think this is going to be a dark place we go to now. So this cocktail is called um, the TRR. So um, quickly you can try and guess. Those are three ingredients. What do you think they are? So the TTR. Um, it should actually be called TTP though, because we didn't have any rakia left because me and Ryan drank it all. Um, it was delicious, Bulgarian rakia. Um, 
TTP. The TTP. What do you think that could be? So the first T is more tequila. This is um, another gift from a viewer. <laughs> You're all going to kill me. Um, it's 40%. Yep, 40%. This, I believe, was a, a present that was not wanted anymore. So I'll take it. So shot one tequila, 30 mil shots. What do you think the other T is as I pour this? What do you want it to be? What do you hope it will be? I think I know what a lot of you hope it will be. It's not, there's no S you'll notice, thankfully, so it's not Thrill. It is, of course, Thai whiskey. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the smell we all hate. There's the petroleum. Um, now that the world um, so much. So yeah, now that the world oil um, uh, is worthless, I'm gonna guess people are gonna start pe powering their cars on that. Um, just to just in case you weren't here when we tried this, I'd highly recommend the video. It's rank, and we don't know the percent of this. We assume it's about forty. So that's two drinks of forty. The P. 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 Is. What's this? Looks like a fairly harmless bottle of white wine. It is not. This is the Irish spirit known as Pachin. Probably around 60%. And in it goes. Give that a wee stir. This is rocket fuel. This cocktail is rocket fuel. Um, that's quite a lot of liquid. And then Ryan said that we should top it off with just a little slice of potato um, to give us uh, a little bit of taste around the rim. You've seen people do this on margaritas and things with, um, you know, other things. Not usual for the potato, but I think for a drink like this, it's perfect. Put the wee wedge in there. Mm -hmm, now I can kind of imagine it's just a nice G&T. But it is not. So, what does it smell like? Bizarrely, nothing. Very, very little smell through and through. I think all the really strong odors are canceling each other out. Um, this is a drink I'm going to cut and do. Um, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to try and drink it over a course of about 20 minutes or so. That's quite a lot of alcohol time minutes. Um, and then I'll come back to do the final, the final couple of sips. Um, you might see a bit of a change in my demeanor and I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to do some comedy cut of like, Ooh, I'm going to be legit and probably be, Ooh. so first taste. Mm. It's very thick. <coughs> oh, it's very thick. Um, like with everything, the Thai whiskey kind of over, over, overcomes. You get a tiny sense of the of the um, of the tequila. Wouldn't know Pachin was in there. It's absolutely tasteless. Now this is really good Pachin, I have to say. Um, like you can drink it. You can drink it neat. Um, it's actually really, really tasty, but obviously very strong and very, very well made stuff. So that makes sense of why it's losing out to these much harsher, much more um, disgusting tastes. So. I'm going to finish this, um, and I'll see you soon. So it's been about 10 minutes since um, we cut there. I'm definitely feeling it in my head. We've um, got a little bit left. A um, couple of quick things that you're probably all wondering. No, the potato does not add any flavor in any shape or form. Um, how is it hitting me? Well, I just told a friend of mine that her daughter's, that she dresses her daughter well, so... Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's hit me because that's a weird thing to say to someone. Um, okay, okay. It's not unpleasant. <clears throat> what am I saying? It is unpleasant. It is unpleasant. But it's not... <clears throat> Sips with Stuart has created now like a unpleasant scale whereby Stru80 is here. Um, there is a cocktail coming. Um... I'm not doing it tonight because it will obliterate me. 
Um, and it's got stir in it. It's also got a pretty offensive title. Um, <laughs> it was sent in from where do you think Serbia? Um, and I think that yeah, it's gonna be a. It'll be yeah. It'll be an intense sip. Um, we we'll definitely need to do a little bit of a a delayed um, one on that. Uh, because yes, it's 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 gonna be strong. Um, yeah. So let's finish this. I am also sweating a bit, and I can only imagine that's because of the drink. Um, I will. Yeah. So that tells you a little bit about its strength, I guess. Um, I'm gonna have chips tonight. I was gonna make homemade chips. Do you think I could still use this one? I'm not against the idea of it. So, I think it's in the States, they say that if you can do the alphabet backwards without interruption, you're not pissed. So, Z, Y, X, V, U, T, S. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, that was strong. Um, got a bit of sweat again, glistening. Um, not as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Um, the rakia might have made it a little bit more pungent just because, although uh, it, that was good rakia, so maybe not. Um, I think a really interesting thing would be if anyone could come up with a cocktail that overcomes the taste of the Thai whiskey. Because that is still mostly what I'm feeling. Right, I'm going to go and... Uh, self-implode I guess just go and debase myself in some shape or form because that's what quarantine's all about right talk to you soon so it's almost <clears throat> it's almost been an hour since the original drinking um thought that this might be an interesting time to see if this actually tastes any better when you're a bit weirded out it's only a tiny taste tiny taste tiny taste <laughs> that really <coughs> okay so getting back on Z Y X V U T S R it, I don't think I said W W's in there somewhere um, closer to the end um, after Q, you've got your O's. No, M, no, don't count. O, N, M. Maybe a K, maybe an L. Can't remember right now which one comes in which order. Um, so, uh, L and K. Try not to cheat by doing this. Um, really try not to go through it. It's so easy just to go through it properly and cheat. Uh, Let's just say J I H G F E D C B A. I think I was flawless. Um, I'm about to go play chess with my friend, and if I win, he's a disgrace. Um, so yeah. In general, I'd say the straw is still undrinkable. The TTR, TTP cocktail was strong, but not horrible. I think actually, if you use something else other than the Thai whiskey, it would be fine. Um, and yeah, the other tequila was um, gross. Textually. On, on the mouth, it was fine. Okay, I'm going to make some dinner, and then I'm going to, um, yeah, I've got, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get my life in order, so I'll see you soon.